So the potential for messes on your kitchen or bathroom floors are endless, right? So that's why I found one of the busiest and most adorable families I know to put the Wally broom to the ultimate dealer dud test. It is nonstop, <laughs> nonstop, and it is very busy and we call it our circus. My hands are not often free. <laughs> This mom of four is always learning how to be more efficient in all aspects of parenting. A mess is destined to happen that day between the four of them. <laughs> no, 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 it's all the way on the floor, it's dirty. And not even the kids are shy about acknowledging that they're mess makers. Yeah. A big mess, a big, really big mess. But they're also great at helping out. We clean it with a towel or a napkin. The Wally broom is a two-in-one solution for dry and wet messes. One side is a handheld broom, the other a squeegee. It claims to reduce paper towel waste and eliminate gunky hands. They eat cereal or oatmeal every day. So, for once, we told the kids to make a mess on purpose. They even wanted to help clean it up. You haven't done much squeegeeing in your life. I will say the squeegee part, I would still go back with the paper towel. The bristle side does a fine job as a handheld broom, but the squeegee just wasn't making the cut. It gets the solid pieces okay, but as you can see here, the, the liquid Ew. still, it's not picking up all of the liquid and it's still wet on my floor. It doesn't beat your average hand broom. The verdict was unanimous for a whopping $30. It's a <laughs> that we had so much fun making those messes on purpose, but don't worry, I told them this is a one one a one, -time one time thing. Opportunity, okay, guys, right? we're gonna throw some eggs on the floor, spill some cereal. Don't do this when I'm not here. <laughs> Never again. Yeah. But it was fun. That was an expensive product. It was good quality, but just not worth it.